ready to uh, to change the coolant here uh, you got to see how this was done in a such a form that you could not come anywhere even close and get it done look how this is turned it's turned that way down so you cannot come close anywhere and properly remove this uh, belt this this uh, opaska I don't know how you say that in English properly uh, that's basically how that's done on one side and on the other side it's the same thing it's done in the same fashion uh, you cannot come anywhere even close do you see it it's turned down like this and it's tied like this so that you could not even cut this with a pliers like this nothing you can do you can't come close anywhere near not even with the tools like this nothing you can do basically done in a such a form that rather than five minutes you would waste on changing yourself a freezer uh, a fridge refrigerator liquids it will take you days to figure out how to do just a single task this is how this criminality on this car this is how far this whole thing went they engineered everything in a such a way modify car that everything you would try to do is just would become a trouble uh, this was recorded by the way on December the 19th of 2019 what exactly does it feel to uh, to work like this and this kind of stuff like this when you have a pus literally coming out of the uh, of your fingers in a cold weather like this what what exactly does it feel when you wash your hands my hands are all swollen uh, cut I have a cuts like this uh, it's very very unpleasant even more so when you know when you're told they're gonna do the stuff like this to you to make things impossible for you basically to change the regular coolant liquid to go and do the stuff like this no? so it's very unpleasant so this is basically out of the deal I guess now the job is done uh, this is what it looks like to get the job done I had to bend all the way down inside in there uh, now it's gonna be replaced with a clamp like this one here uh, very bad for your spine to do this stuff like this the local mechanic told me 50 is lottie for this job if he would do it uh, they would not give in this stuff was done by the mechanics it was done special like this the clamp would be turned in a such a position that you could not access one uh, neither with a screwdriver for that matter or anything it cemented the whole thing and I was told, demonstrated, there will be nothing I possibly could do about it. Actually, the things went even further. If you look at the, if you look at the clamp, this, if you pay attention to this thing here, you're gonna realize it's like wired. You can actually not even separate the clamp. If you want to separate one, like normally the clamps have, like this it's not possible this is not the same clamp it's a special clamp that was used so that you could not even separate one possibly i'm gonna say even why you see this is basically what it is you can see that in the middle if you would pull you could separate one you can see it i'm sure you can see it i hope that you can see it yeah you can see it I'm sure you can see it this one here uh no such thing you can see this is like a solid piece special thing was used to make things impossible the way i did this was by basically going with something sharp like this in a position uh that would not go that uh, i would not go inside of the rubber so the way i have done this it's done in a such a way that the rubber the pipe it's not uh, damaged in absolutely any way 
this is basically how this is properly done because this sharp things love to go inside of the rubber and then you end up destroying the whole pipe uh, and then you end up replacing pipe and all kinds of stuff this is the stuff I was demonstrated most likely it's gonna happen to me right at this shop here the individual who did this this thing here this the individual who did this is a mechanic who works here he was the one who lost several days working on this car fixing this kind of stuff so that I would not get this stuff done if you're not gonna be done by 12 o'clock just maybe 50 or 100 meters from here there is a employment office state employment office from Polish state the main lady Kierownica, the, the head lady of that office rushed here on that MKO gesturing me if you will not be done by 12 o'clock or whatever and blah 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 I don't even know what time it is right now that I can check what time it is but this is really really impressive eh? I did finish this before 12 o'clock but if you would not and if you would not and tra la 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 uh, then you lose the day and tra la la and nervous and so on and so forth the gentleman the owner of this place here did not mind to demonstrate me Audi it's two years old he told me he gave 150,000 for it Chris from Colorado a gentleman who called a staff member the one who was most often present on that MK Ultra who drove this car uh, find out from mechanics what kind of stuff could be done to the car uh, literally have gone as far as corrupting people mechanics to do this stuff like this actually not the mechanics but owners of the shops this gentleman here just happened to be one of the people who profited enormously from this involvement with Americans I have no idea what happened he sells cars here I don't know what kind of deals there were but this is exactly the case that have happened in this place I was told by Americans and demonstrated in other shops that it's better to pay so they would use like a drum type of tool and cut through this and remove one and get the job done better than to lose the whole day and so on okay I did not lose the whole day it actually my work my knowledge on mechanic myself technician engineering technician so on it paid me off to the job myself okay so this thing was used what you see basically was used to basically first widen here enough for me to get in inside with pliers like this then what I would do is I would little by little by little I would cut uh, right through and the way I widened this thing here I did this job about two hours two hours and a half the way I did this was by basically using this under exactly degree that you see right here so not 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 in other words not like this it would go inside the rubber in the pipe but instead like this right um, almost as close as possible just enough to widen this then I would use hammer and the key that you see right here uh, one to lean against this thing and hammer to smack so it would actually penetrate through because this this is so tight this thing was done in a such a way it was done so tight that you could not access this thing anywhere even closely crazy completely insane stuff no way this is um let, let me see let's let's pay a close attention to this. this is like a wired basically this part here right the mechanic in this shop tried to do this stuff he couldn't get it done I got it done with about two hours and a half there's a gentleman right here that works in the shop one day eventually he's going to confirm my story the story that you heard right now including the gentleman the owner who allowed me to do this here you see that makes no difference to me either you get it done here or you get it done elsewhere uh, you know people got whatever they got but about the Chris who called daddy whenever we were in private uh, this gentleman did kill for Donald Trump if this is what makes 
Trump, uh, if this is the idea about maybe him promoting his son uh, in front of his own family, if this is what it is, and it's a little bit more I'm going to expand these issues to some other issues as well, which I'm not going to discuss here in this shop. Okay, okay, okay. Um, today, look, I'm going to put you like this. This is the time and date. I could probably go. It's, it's December the 22nd, 2019. Anyhow, it's going to be posted on the internet, so it won't make no difference. Nobody will be able to say, oh, no, not sure. Yeah, you see this car here? This is the car. You see it? This is the car I have purchased. You see what this is? This? This thing here? These buildings here? This is known as Slovenian, look, I'm going to show you this, Slovenian parliament. Oh, I cannot see it well, but this is a Slovenian parliament. You see this? This is a Slovenian parliament. Okay, let me show you something. Something like this. This car that you have seen, this car was parked in front of this building already. See this? See this building? This car was parked in front of this building, outside of this building. And Slovenian politicians, parliamentarians, some, they were there. This is one time how I came to Slovenia, how I returned to Slovenia. Uh, they took a photo of Dora Pahor with a car, probably myself and so on. So. Uh, Mr. Pahor, if he, if he thinks it's going to be some kind of games and stuff like this, possibilities, you already are mistaken. The car, my car, my Škoda, already was in Slovenia, right in front of the parliament. And parliamentarians, some have taken photo. For sure, many have exchanged this photo with one another. It's going to come out the whole thing. At least that's what he promised. It's like this, sir. The Ukrainian guy that is here, that was at this location here together with son from Donald Trump, son out of wedlock from Donald Trump, uh, he played a lot, a lot of all kinds of games. Uh, it's quite a guy that likes to play with emotions, I guess. And Borut Pahor, one time, he. At least this is what he claimed, that he was looking for him, that they were trying to calm him down because he was going to beat him up. Now, tonight, I couldn't find what I'm trying already to do for some time. I'm trying to replace the cooling liquid anti antifreeze, antifreeze cooling liquid from fridge, from refrigerator uh, on the car. And there was a whole variety of problems. Now, the last problem I faced and I'm glad I did, so I'm going to post this video online, was uh, this one tonight that when I was going to go and replace this cooling liquid, I couldn't find myself, you know, prepare myself for the winter so it would not blow my cooler uh, on, a, on a vehicle. Couldn't find one because it was a screwdriver now that disappeared from the vehicle. But we have a very, very unusual stuff going on here regarding the Ukrainian guy. This I bought some time really just to to take this like a like a treat. No, it's really empty. It was about something up to up to this up to this level here, something like this that I eat, that I ate. But this, like this, I didn't do it. Ukrainian guy did. And I like to say Ukrainian guy. Because individual is... I won't even tell you who the guy is. Meaning that walks inside the other day, and I'm not mistaken about that either, portion of the fish was gone too. Uh, that's a smoked mackerel. And he promised me he would do this stuff. 
for this one, I remember because the tale he created behind MKUltra about doing this kind of stuff was that if I would talk against Chris, that's again, son from Donald Trump out of the wedlock that impregnated at least two women that I know here. He made a bunch of kids like Trump, like his daddy. This is what father instructed him, teach him, is basically to go out there and just fucking impregnate women. Make as many as you can, children. Oh, it's something that basically they used to suggest that, this, that you are related somehow to Trumps or something like this as a Polish when you were born here and stuff like this. And then it's all kinds of problems with internal politics in the future that people like this produce. In other words, it's a trouble and, you know, in the eyes of some that have a different economical views or um, whatever, uh, they could use this against other people and so on and so forth. It's a trouble. In one word, this kind of stuff is really, really troublesome. It's a really, really troublesome stuff. It's a bad one. Anyhow, if you will talk against Chris, what's going to happen is you're going to have a horseradish. I'm going to eat that because I'm going to be pissed off and just watch yourself. So anything good and this kind of stuff is I eat. He also was the individual who told me about poisoning under MK Ultra. He was the one who talked to me about um, to look at chocolate or coffee. If you're going to see like a, uh, like a drops of, that means that put inside, sip you inside so it blasts your pressure uh, inside of your head. This, this is the same individual. Well, this individual, for the Ukrainian people, you don't have to be afraid of it. This individual is anti-Ukrainian. I was brought to the rush on several occasions like this. They would brainwash me and tell me, well, you know, how are they going to take care of you? How it's going to be, everything is going to be perfect, everything is going to be nice. And then I had KGBs here tell me, I am going to prove you, I'm going to prove you that he was not the one, that, that, that this guy was not Russian, and that that guy was not Russian, and that this guy was not Russian, and this and that. Of course, you're going to prove me, because what the KGBs do is they hire people from Ukraine. They hire them. The same shit was over there and at this Dembroska 58. It was the same thing. It was just Ukrainian that, that they would develop some kind of uh, bullshit about Ukrainian people, like presenting themselves like a, like a racist bigots and stuff like this, trying to get from me, just like Chris does, just like this American... And again, I feel sorry to use this American because this is really Donald Trump. This location here, this is just, you could say, a Buckingham Palace, Donald Trump, Russian point Kaczynski. Through Kaczynski, I'm going to say. This is what this is. For me, I thought about this stuff. Pahor. Yeah, tonight I couldn't find a screwdriver disappeared from the car. And just, I, I, I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to show you what I did. The mechanic who, I'm going to also play your recording in the end, which is going to confirm my account. It's a fact. If you don't believe that a recording, if mechanic is going to say no, think about the tool you're going to see right there. The tool you're going to see is the help I have received from mechanic. The job I did to even get this cooler changed, I mean cooler, cooling liquid changed, it's still not changed because of the crazy shit that goes on. They know that you're going to about to do something, they go and they steal. And this one, this screwdriver was not done by Ukrainian, this one was done by the neighbor because the neighbor told me that he's going to do something so I wouldn't go and change this by myself here somewhere in the neighborhood or something like this. Even though I have my own everything to retain liquids and stuff like this, just as mechanic shops, um, I would not go and dispose this in the nature or anything like this, cause it pollution of any kind. Whatever they do, they do it because they want to help you out. 
because you don't want to get in trouble with the law or anything like this. Yeah, I mean, they screw you and tell you that whatever you do, they're doing to help you out. And they all claim, they all claim, Ukrainian, this landlord here, the neighbor, the seller of the vehicle, this is the seller of the vehicle that is my friend, somebody who gave me all the information about him that I could even use the one who sold me the car without the catalytic converter, which costed me job search over three weeks and actually ended up in impossible situations. But it was other people that were guilty according to him. This information I can use. Now, the thing is that you can't use anything when you are attacked from all the sides. There's nothing you can do. You're screwed. The one that sold me the car with a fire extinguisher under the passenger seat. Also the one that sold me the car with a tires that don't even have one millimeter thread. For which I was suggested by Americans alone, by the Germans, that if when you're going to be traveling through Austria back to Slovenia, they're going to do something that they're going to demonstrate like an accident and stuff like this. This is the one. Yeah, I could buy myself probably 10 sets of tires for the price of damage that he, this individual created me. That, that's the one. That's the one. Uh, a friend of mine, again, this is the kind of friends I have. This is, this is all you have. This is, this is how it works. The KGB work like, how can I tell you? This is, uh, these are all friends. They're going to help you out. The thing about it is that the only one they're helping to is someone else. And that's basically someone who's going to prove you in the end that these are not the Russian KGB is related people, but are actually related to Americans and to Ukrainians and so on. Because this is what they enlist themselves with. And if I was an idiot and I would see Americans and not Donald Trump, a traitor of the United States, disgrace to the world and to his country, I would probably really settle for you know, I have no idea what, what, you know, what, where you would land with this kind of stuff. The only thing I can tell you is that Borat Bahor yelled, stressed about me, shaking anger, that it was, that's why we're going to fuck him. That's why we're going to do that. That's why I'm going to support this because of this guy. Now, do I believe Borat Bahor? Not even a little bit. I'm not an idiot. Borat Bahor is Borat Bahor and I am who I am. I have my way. I have my own beliefs. My beliefs are with this country and with these people, which despite everything, I'm going to melt down. Here they're going to come on about black and white, clear, exactly who did, what did, and this and that. At no time ever will I apologize to anybody to, for absolutely anything in this world, in this lifetime, because I have nothing to apologize for. They will apologize to me and make no mistake about that. I was warned about this kind of attitude that it will look like a dictator or something like this. I'm not. I'm not a dictator. I'm not a politician. I forgive people. I am a forgiving, understandable person. But I also have what is known as dignity. Humanity is in me. A life. I'm not dead. I'm not dead on the inside. And so I will not allow somebody to stamp on me, walk on me, spit on me, basically laugh at me for what they have done. And it's something to be proud about. It's a shame. It's a disgrace. Collective disgrace is what it is. I can leave with it. I can leave with it. I just hope they can leave with it too. I just hope they can face their own biggest fears. I did mine. Pahar stressed to me that, that he wanted to beat him up and they really portrayed it like he was looking for him and this and that. That's why we're going to get this Ukrainian boy and this and that. And, you know, this kind of stuff went on. It's why I also know that if that be the case, 
the Ukrainian government alone, they already would remove this individual from this destination here, from this port. This guy is a Russian. If he will be doing stuff like this in front of the politicians like Fahar, who he is a president of Slovenia right now, Ukraine would go very, very quickly busted, broke. So you see, it's not even difficult to figure out why you know who is what is in this map. Sure enough, they would not allow any of this stuff. So these are all people that are literally on a KGB list and have believed through Putin. It's how KGB does it. Will create abuse so big, so long, so intensive in the land of Kaczynski that, in fact, me, I, individual, eventually would end in the Russia again. Would see myself already, would, you know, somebody on him, would, they would have to point you out that these are actually Ukrainian people and, and Chris is American and stuff like this. And before you know, uh, you know, you, you can start taking really some crazy views like this, see yourself in a completely different role in this life and so on. And probably you really would end up settling for something like this. That's not the case. I'm not interested in that. I'm definitely interested in Russia because I love Russia. I love Russian people. I love Belarus. It's this beautiful place. Beautiful people. Beautiful country. All I want to do is help as much as I possibly can because they need they need economy going. They need to rebuild their factories. They need to rebuild infrastructures and everything else. They need they need this kind of stuff. For me, they're worthy people. For me, it's a beautiful place. I felt really good i felt exceptionally good in belarus when i was in belarus in 2017 the people that i watched people i felt watched me and they were really acceptable uh, i felt really really uh, exceptionally good about it there was this politic there's a lukashenko is over there but the thing about it is that people is a people is something you cannot replace you know it's it's it doesn't have really when it comes to the value it doesn't have uh, the price that uh, you know you're not gonna find your people like this place like this that you feel good about nice place Poland like let's say Poland Ukraine was beautiful Ukraine was really beautiful I felt like at home too you know, all this Eastern Europe, it's a beautiful place. There's no prejudice. There's no somebody that would be like, you know, looking down on you like, like you're a subhuman being or something like this. It was the case like this on the West. I did taste that kind of stuff too. You know, it was all kinds of stuff that I have gone through in my life. And so that I would go and turn against people... As people, I will never do this. But as a politician, I have to pay myself a respect. I have to pay myself uh, for what I, my dignity is worth. Dignity is what I see based in humanity. You know, I do not allow that anybody to play with me. I don't go uh, and beg for what is mine. I don't give. Simple. The vehicle, yeah, the vehicle is not in Slovenia, but Fahor, and yeah, you see, I am already claiming that the photo already was taken by this car, from this car, in Slovenia, prior what might become my arrival. I'm not completely, 100% yet sure, certain, if this is what I'm going to do, but it might just be the case that I will do this because of so many setups. But what you are about to see is going to demonstrate to you how far this owner of this car have gone, on whose name the car was not even titled. You're going to see on how far, you know, tires in the winter time. This is really a special time of the year that without the profile, this is really exceptionally good stuff. With the fire extinguisher, this is really something important to think about. How far did he go to make things completely impossible on this vehicle alone? 
for me. Stuff that you're about to see, Americans that tried, there was like at least 10 Americans watching this car, using this car, testing the car. Chris was the one that referred to his father, that his mechanic is just a genius, man. It's just a genius what he did, how he did. He came up with such a solution in the ADA. You know. In Polish, it's called Metana Opaska. Okay, it's a, like a metal ring um, that you would use for the pipe that you would, uh, you're going to see it. So, um, on Brunchek, Opaska, metal ring, Sklopka. <laughs> oh, I know, I don't know how many words for it in different languages, but in English, uh, right now, you're going to see what it is. It squeezes the, let's say, pipe, uh, elastic gummy pipe, so it keeps one tight. Faster if you want. I have no idea how you would say this in English. I didn't go through that. But they would have mechanics. They could not remove this because they have position in a such a way where the screw is that you cannot come anywhere close. And with screwdriver or anything like this. And the second thing is they have broken where the tip is, where you would place a screwdriver to turn, to make a turn, uh, to unscrew the, this thing. You couldn't because they, 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 they have broken the tips and stuff like this. The whole thing was just done in a such a way that you couldn't do anything. Now you could do something else. You could really use the, this pipe, this kurek, in Polish again, to let the liquid out and this and that. But for that matter, you would have to go to the shop. You would have to unscrew the whole bottom and stuff like this. And I don't want to mess with that because I can do the same job the way I do it. I know I'm a technician, mechanic too. I know this stuff. I know how it's done. The thing is that it was a local employment lady, boss of the local employment agency who knew about this stuff. It's what I was warned. If you don't do it within like, by then, leave it, don't do it, this, that. They insisted, don't do it, go pay this, that, tra la 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 la. Don't do it. And then they demonstrated me with a Dremel mechanic when and, bzz, 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 and he actually break through and he removed one. But the mechanic who did engineer this, who designed this and had placed this on a vehicle, not only was a man enough that actually admitted me this, but he admitted me, he, could, he can still say no, I did not or whatever, but he admitted me more than anything through the tool that you're about to see. This is especially like a, like a spitz, like a... Uh, it was exactly like he told me it's going to be. You're going to come to me and I'm going to show you a drawer. And this drawer, there is nothing I will be able to do for you. You're also going to find like like a, like a spike, like a spine type sharp objects, which I did use to actually break through that thing and have one successfully removed. And this in a record time, faster than mechanics did professional mechanics, they couldn't do it. I did it in a really fast time without damaging any rubber, actually not gummy, rubber, uh, a rubber, um, a rubber pipe. I did so because I know how to do things like this. No American did this. They couldn't do it. Some they tried, they lost a lot of time and so on. But, you know, it's too much, it's too much. When you go as far as screwing me like this, removing me basically a screwdriver once I installed a new one in a position that is now really, really easy to untwist. Uh, you know, it's now really easy to replace this cooling liquid because I, I replace that thing. The only thing you have to do is detach that thing, let it out, uh, open on top, let it out put back this thing, screw one on easily, 
puts a new liquid on it and goodbye, that's it. It's crazy when you're trying to do this for so many days and is another problem is there's no place here you could go and do this stuff. You want to save yourself on money. Americans, what they did was Americans found locations where these things could be done. Several locations I was taken where these things could be done in the near forest, in the near this, in the near that. And I had the locals harass them basically with this kind of issues, telling me indirectly basically what's going to happen. There's going to be a police before you know here and this and that. You're going to be in trouble and blah, 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 blah. Don't do that. that, 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 that. So basically, they demanded to be discriminated and demanded from locals, actually for me to see them, stuff, this is not discrimination, it's just not supposed to do it, if you do it, you do it. For me basically being abused on MK Ultra, for me basically to see through my eyes, them being discriminated, which they demanded to be discriminated so that the locals who apparently supposedly discriminated against them would discriminate me. They would have like an alibi to do that stuff to me at work, at, uh, at let's say state office and so on and so forth. So do you understand it? what kind of an art of the deal this is, how they have psychologically protected yourself like ethically that it, they would be politically correct and so on. That's why I suggested that Pollocks as such, if they want to see themselves as such in, in, in a group of stuff like this, Kaczynski said that I sided with the Nazis and stuff like this, so therefore that I deserve it. It's very clear that I left Slovenia at age 23, that I was until 16 years attacked by the group of kids from 10, 15 schoolmates disallowed to work, thrown out of the country. It went on through Yugoslavia like this. When Slovenia became Slovenia, I served the first generation of the regular military in Slovenia. One of the first people in Slovenia that hold gun in his hands in defense of his country. Who the hell the traitor is here? Who betrayed whom? They came back to the U.S. Have Nazis basically brainwashed me, bring me here and have engaged in this kind of tricks that I'm the one who is a Nazi and doing all this stuff when in fact it was a Kaczynski, when it was a Putin, all these people did this shit. Turning me against people, people against me and this and that. Who is a traitor here? Avoiding to pay, stealing the money basically, the money that was promised to me, stuff on their bank accounts, Leave me basically for death, locked me inside the mental institutions, tortured me, anarched me is insane, tried to murder me on quite a few occasions I escaped. I had a definitely close meetings with death. Somebody really watched over me up there. I did pass them somehow. And I'm the one who is a traitor and so on. That's why I'm saying that Polish people got to straighten up this shit. This is a disgrace for entire Slavic society, not only for the Poland. As Poland as such doesn't have a place anywhere within the Slavic society. You can't do the stuff like this as a Slavic person, as a member of the Slavic society. Stuff like this to the people. It's inhumane. Not against customs. If you see yourself as a, some kind of patches or whatever, even of Poland or whatever it is, it's completely inhumane to do stuff like this to people. If you want to go and discriminate people like this, I feel discriminated severely against. And you cripple as far as this, going as far as that, an individual, that is really a hatred. That is really, really hateful, stuff like this. It's really hateful stuff I have seen. You would not believe the stuff I have seen that you are able, that you are capable, that you have people actually to accept the bribes, the money to do to another member of this Slavic society. Therefore, you don't believe in one. 
You don't see yourself as a follower. It's going to be a lot about this, defining Poland, what Poland stands for, what Poland wants to be. Poland, if you want to do some kind of Nazi stuff here in Poland and see certain Polish people more Polish than others, then the rest of the Slavic society also have to define you as such, that you are something different than in that case. And you do it for many for, me, for the variety of reasons. In my case, you did it for the money, for the bribes. And you, you entangled in this other issues to, be, to portray me in front of other Slavic people as such. You did this in Ukraine, you did this in Belarus and so on. You are a trouble, you are a problem. And you have to be recognized as such too. Seen as such by other people. So there is nothing more to say. What, are you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate to you what, how far this stuff have gone to make things difficult for me. And I did lost. I really did lost because of the stuff like this. Almost three days I lost stuff like this. That you do it like in five minutes. You do it and you can't. You can't. You got to find a way how you're going to do it and, and where you're going to do it and this and that. And it just messes your plan. It messes your schedule. It messes your things. It messes you up. Anyhow, this location here, this is, this is the worst location ever. The amount of torture that went in this home, in this little house, in this, what otherwise was designed to be a garage. It's called a Ladovka also. A freezer is called. It's called a freezer because it's a, always here, in this place here, it's always five degrees below of what is outside. It's always like this, always was like this. It's a Ladovka. Here you don't need the fridge. Here already four months ago, once it dropped to the zero, the place would remain at temperature zero. It didn't matter, even if outside was 10 degrees or this or whatever it was. This place remained at zero, sometimes even two, three degrees below zero and so on. You were watching the prognose about the weather and stuff, maybe in Poland or something like this, but don't think about that because I am in the fridge here. Here I don't use the fridge. Here the fridge is not necessary to pay for the electricity, not because I would be cheap, but there is no need to put anything inside of the fridge here in this place, in Ladovka. That's how they have referred to ones. And so this, this, is, what, this, is, this is what they got for the bank for their money. And yes, it was the last one. This was the last bank. There will be no other banks. Sad uh, how far things have gone. Donald Trump promised me that they're going to make more troubles for me on other locations. They have also other locations ready. And I remember they have also some warehouses. They also have some um, bureaus, business bureaus, they also have prepared nasty surprises for me. So that's why I'm saying that to continue in an environment like this, uh, you know, it's, it's, how can I say, you know, imagine yourself to be inside of the fridge crippled with so many problems and you, you don't want to eat yourself because you're not going to become obese and you're going to have a real even bigger problem with your spine and so on. It's, it's, you know, it's what it is, whatever it is. Now, see the video, and then if you understand Polish, listen in Polish language what the German had to say. The drill, uh, this, this tool that you're about to see, the German have prepared that for me. Like I said, he likes me. People love me. The thing is that corruption does unbelievable stuff. Um, the owner of this business profited big time from Americans. And he didn't mind to demonstrate me his new Audi, his new two-year Audi for which he paid 150,000 uh, zloty. He had with Americans and they loaded him with the money and stuff like this and demanded from him to see their way neo-nazi way and stuff like this now he's a decent person a really decent person a very considering person 
is a lot of people that did the stuff that accepted brides are nice people in their best possible way they still went ahead and they tried to help me in their way as much as they could they couldn't do the job for me they couldn't do the stuff like this they had to do their part uh, they didn't have a choice but in their little ways well if I wouldn't have that tool that this mechanic gave me I would still have this problem I wouldn't resolve anything it's all thanks to him he created a problem but he also made sure that he gave me a chance and I used one so you know and so on Americans when they were using his tool they have destroyed the this pipe this uh, this elastic this this uh, uh, this pipe because it's sharp and when you, if you try to do that stuff and if you don't know how to do it and it goes straight into one and then it's the whole thing is a waste I didn't even do a scratch to it pretty good stuff and I did like in two hours or something <laughs> Pana co pracuje ten gdzie są? U biroju. Nie, to pierwszy dzień. Po pierwszy dzień. A co mają kawę? Smaczne kawy, nie chcę pracować. Co zrobić? Nie, nie, nie. A wy szukacie kogoś tu za pracę, co pracowałby z wami, tu razem z wami. Coś takiego jest tu, jest na kłopacie. Za mechanikę coś, co mogę pracować tu z wami. No, ja nie pracowałem, ja jestem mechanikiem, technikiem, ja jestem, nie pracowałem dużo lat, nie pracowałem, e, mówię się mało tak, nie uczy tak, no, ale to, nie, dużo pieniędzy mogą być, on dać pomoc, to wie, jeżeli potrzebuje. Ty chciałbyś szedłem, ale on przyjedzie dopiero w pół do pierwszy. Dobrze, ok, bardzo dziękuję Wam. specjalist za to, to pamiętacie co było? No, to było nie wiem, A jak nie pamiętacie? Pamiętacie, Chris był tu, wymyli to tu, grali system z tą rurą. No, nie wiem. No, a ja was pamiętam bardzo fajnie, bardzo dobrze pamiętam. Ale zrobione jest, nie ni, nie ni e, szladu, co, mo, co by było jakiś e, tam co by zrobił jakiś błęd z rurą, coś takiego? No, no, no. Nic. I to było co? Dwie godziny i pół, coś takiego. No, możliwe jest zrobić, to nie możliwe jest. No tak. No tak. No. Dobrze. No to już tam było nad stolików. Ja bardzo dziękuję Wam. Bardzo, bardzo dziękuję. Wam. Smacznie. Nigdy nie, już jest 